In Bhutan on Thursday, a rare meeting of the Indian and Pakistani prime ministers, their first since last July, in a push to break past a regional stalemate. Well, the Singh uh, Gilani handshake uh, meeting is very significant given the shifting balance of power in the region. Welcome to Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. Prospects for fully normalized relations between India and Pakistan remain dim given their history of rivalry and warfare, but these governments are finding new incentives to work together as the United States steps up efforts in Afghanistan, seeking to defeat what the Pentagon says is a strengthening Taliban. That push has meant a deepening relationship with Pakistan that threatens to upset a balance of power carefully maintained in various configurations since the Cold War. From the point of view of D.C., the balance of power needs to be maintained by stabilizing Pakistan, by moving away from pressuring it to working with it. So that does upset India. But the Americans understand, and therefore they're going to try very hard to make sure that India is placated because the last thing that the Obama administration wants to see is India gravitating towards Moscow. Pakistan's foreign minister said that both India and Pakistan have been victims of terrorism and that they'd work together on that issue, the chief sticking point in their relations since the Mumbai attacks in 2008. As the Indians know that, you know, of course, they don't want to, you know, release Pakistan from the pressure of acting against militants, but at the same time, they don't want to miss the boat either because the Americans and the Pakistanis are working uh, towards some sort of a settlement on Afghanistan. They want to be part of that so that their interests are secured. So the only way to do that is to be able to work with Pakistan uh, in some shape or form. 